Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about headaches. A lot of people get headaches, and there are actually a bunch of different reasons why we can get headaches. So, it's time to answer that age-old question, where do headaches come from? Alright, so, where do headaches come from? The first one we have here is dehydration. Dehydration comes in, um, it's a pretty easy one to fix, you just start drinking more water and you could actually uh, decrease the amount of headaches that you have, if that's the reason why the headaches the headaches are there. The problems are the other ones that are there. So we have arterial slash vascular. Those are the ones that uh, almost some of the worst headaches to get those in the neural ones because you know it means you have a weakness in some of the arterial walls or you have um, something else going on that you that is causing all these kinds of headaches and can lead to either larger problems. Um, the good news is that these aren't as uh, often as the other ones. The big two that we're talking about here are the tension and insidious. Okay? Insidious uh, is basically a fancy term for I don't know where your headaches come from. So uh, we actually have diagnosis codes that are called insidious headaches. It, that's, it, that's because we don't know where they come from. It's not well researched and um, it, it's still it's still out there to find out exactly why a lot of these headaches are coming in. But the good news is that tension headaches are usually coming from muscles. Okay, so let's talk about what happens here. Uh, certain muscles of the neck specifically uh, can cause different patterns of pain in the head. Okay, which some people don't know. Some people are just like, yeah, my head hurts. But actually knowing where the pain is can help trigger where you might be able to find it or where where it originates from. So what we do is we look at our great little trigger point chart. Here we're looking at, this is a great chart we have in the office. It shows all these different kinds of areas of pain. Let's go over and look at the head here. Okay, Some people have pain going into the eye going into the ear, some people at the top, sometimes uh, some jaw pain or even into the neck. Now let's take a look at these, okay? We have, this guy is getting pain all over out here and even on top of the head, right? But we see that these are coming from the SCM muscles or some uh, muscles in behind the neck. That's the splenius capitis there. It's part of uh, the erector spinae of the neck, okay? So, we go over here, we have different pain patterns. This one's going a little bit more towards the eye, this one's going out towards the nose, and this one's actually coming underneath the jaw. Okay, so even though these areas of pain are just like, oh, I don't know where they came from, a lot of times if you go on to and actually palpate this SCM, if I look on here and I hold there a little bit longer and all of a sudden I get this radiating pain going out to my head, then the good news is that Number one, I don't have neurological or arterial damage. What I have are tight muscles, either from posture, from being too tense up in the neck, or something like that. So as a musculoskeletal doctor, what we're able to do is we're able to actually do therapy on the muscles to reduce the headaches. Right? Seems pretty logical. Um, so a good piece of homework for you is you can either look up these trigger points, you could just Google them, or you could honestly, if you start getting some of these pain patterns in the head, you can just kind of start feeling around in the neck to be like, okay, let me just hold that there for a little while to see if that brings on the pain. If it does, then you have to learn to stretch some of the muscles that are in the neck, or you can stretch, um, uh, fix your posture, right? Based on the last video that we did, fixing the posture, you can do the wall angel, you could do a Bruger's, or anything else. So, but the biggest issue is that you have to address it. If you don't address it, then you may just fall into that insidious category and, and not really know where your headaches are coming from. And then you run into a whole realm of, well, these are just headaches that I'm just going to have to pop some pills for every time they come in. And it may be once a week, once a day, it could be twice a day, it could be uh, going on for years when all you really needed to do is just take a look into some of these neck muscles, fix your posture, and stretch them out. So that is all. I will leave you now to go do what else you were doing on the internet. And uh, take care of yourself. Take care of others.
and also drink water, right? That's where headaches come from.